I don't do the most, but I do a lot. I'ma make a toast, cause we still alive. No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot a shot. I'm coming in hot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode five of Pong Talk. We are super excited to have you, and I know what you're thinking. Why are <laughs> me and Ben not on the same side right now? Well, that's because we got our first special guest of the podcast, Willie B. Mo Becker. What's up, man? What's up, guys? <laughs> how you guys doing? I'm well, fantastic, baby. baby. Good. 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 How was uh, how was the ride up? How how are you doing? I'm doing good. The ride was fine. I live about 20 minutes away, right over yeah. the river. Uh, right by Anderson Ferries. I keep forgetting that you live in Kentucky, right? No, I live in Cincinnati. Oh, you're like yeah. right on the edge, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right by the river. Gotcha. Well, for all the all of you that don't know what Will does and what he's here for, Will is an MMA fighter. Oh man. He's a scary dude. I know. Yeah. I know it looks nice and all, but he's, he's a scary guy. <laughs> I'm nice. Um, I'm why nice don't guy. you go ahead and like kind of take him through a little bit of background of like you. And your MMA career and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Um, so I started back when I was like nine years old. Mm -hmm. So I started when I was nine years old. I was still playing baseball, football, basketball. Me and Murph played baseball together. Yes, we did. But anyway, I started when I was nine years old. My dad was like, do you want to try this sport? I was like, what is it? He's like, uh, MMA. I was like, uh, what do they do? He's like, they put people in holds. I was like, put people in holds? Like, You're holding old dude? Or no. Uh, what? <laughs> That's the way I would have But... I was like, oh, yeah, sure, like, I'll give it a shot, like, why not? So, yeah. the first day I went, I went for, like, an hour, we did stand-up, we did punches, kicks, and I was like, this is, this is pretty sweet, like, this is cool. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, packing my bag up and getting ready to leave, and my dad was like, you got another hour? I'm like, wait a minute, I got another hour? He's like, yeah, you gotta do the wrestling part. Rest There's wrestling, too? I was like, all right, cool. So I did the wrestling, and then from then on out, I did every Friday until I got a little bit older, and then I started doing more classes, and I just... Continue to play baseball, basketball, and football, but I always liked martial arts, and I, got, I always was a little bit better because I was athletic from the jump, so I was a little bit better than everybody else, so I just stuck with it, and now yeah. I got a job there. So. That like, first session, how long was it? So it was one hour for stand-up. Like, we did a little stand-up lesson, and he showed me some punches, moved me around in my stance, and it was pretty cool, and then the next hour was jiu-jitsu, which is where they put people in holes, yeah, like yeah. my dad was saying, so that was another hour, so it was just a two-hour class. Uh, the first hour was stand up, and the second hour was grappling. So. Jeez, man, it's pretty cool. What would you say like your specialty is? My like, specialty is yeah. stand up. For stand, you. Up? Yeah. Yeah. stand up, yeah. Oh, you're like a strike, like Conor McGregor or yeah. something. Are you right? a lefty yeah. or you righty? I'm righty. You righty? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't I'll say Conor right. McGregor. You, do you like Conor McGregor? I do. I do like him, but there's a lot of uh, scandals he gets into, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not interested. In it's a lot of parts to him that are kind of messed up. Yeah. He's Especially a, recently. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I heard of the sexual assault and all the nonsense. So it's just. Did I see, like, he he hit some, his girlfriend or something like that? It wouldn't surprise me. No. Yeah, I, I saw something. Or, like, an old man at, like, a, a gas uh, yeah. station. They he hit an old it? man at the bar. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what it was, yeah. Because he, like, offered his uh, whiskey, and the guy wouldn't yeah. take it. So he hit the old man in the oh, bar. That's crazy. Proper 12. Did you see that whole thing <laughs> with, like, uh, Khabib when he threw the dolly on the yeah, bus? Yeah, that was yeah, nice. That's messed up, man. That's it's, crazy. He got oh, his, man. uh... I forgot about that. Yeah, he got oh. arrested for that. Too. Yeah. He did. But yeah. Khabib beat him up. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah. Khabib is an animal. Yeah, man. You don't want to mess with that man. No. no. That, that dude's training. He was slim with uh, high I solely believe yeah. to the this Russian. day, nobody can beat Khabib. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I wanted to believe that somebody could, but after seeing what he did to Conor McGregor, who was the best of all time or whatever, best striker in the mm -hmm. MMA yeah. class, no way. No, no. shot. Do you got a go to fighter? Um, Israel Adesanya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know who that yeah. is. This good, big fight. Yeah, proud. Yeah. All right, so no, I didn't get to watch it. No, it was good. It was good. I heard he, I heard he dominated it. He did. Yeah, yeah. for sure. His striking's unreal. Mm -hmm. So, what weight class are you in? I'm at the 145, which is featherweight. Okay. So, and 145 pounds. What's like the? Uh, how many pounds can you go up or down from like 145? So there's a 135. Which mm -hmm. I used to fight at until I got a little bigger, and then there's a 145, obviously, a 155, a 170, 185, a 205, and then 205 and above. Okay. So those are all the weight classes, and then there's they go down to 125 too. But 
Yeah. Would you say like the average is like 150 to 175? Is that where the most fighters uh, are? For the most part, yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of the good fighters from like are from 145 to 185. So. Okay. So like if you showed up on weigh-in day at like 146, would you get kicked out or something for like that? Amateur, you get a three-pound allowance. So if okay. I weigh in at 148, I'd still be good. Are you shooting for 148? Just to get a little, little no, edge? No, I want to. Uh, yeah, I thought about it, but I was like, nah, I want to be professional and yeah. get down to 145. So, yeah, 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 yeah. How well, much do you weigh right now? Yeah, I was about to say that. Right now, I weigh like 153. Okay, okay. So, so you got a little bit of cut down still. A little bit, but yeah. it won't be too much of a problem. I've seen all that, like, uh, do you do any of that massive weight cut stuff? Not crazy. I just changed my diet up a little bit, and then the last week or two, which is coming up, I'll just sweat out a ton and drink yeah. a lot of water, and then cut my water down as the week progresses. So it's super easy. Now, what do you change your diet from? Like originally, when you're like 155, whatever you are, mm -hmm. how do you change your diet in order to get down to that? So I usually just like portion out my meals a little better, and I won't eat junk food. Like I won't eat fast food. I won't eat cookies and like yeah. stuff like that. But um, I usually go just chicken, vegetables, or rice, which is super good. And then closer to the fight, I'll just do chicken and vegetables to cut out the carbs. Because carbs yeah. supposedly hold water, so you want to sweat that out. And I forgot how much that carbs do hold water. Mm -hmm. Jeez, man. So uh, how intense is the training leading up um, to the fight? It's, it's pretty intense. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried to get around like the fight camps that we do, try to like talk to my coach and do it a different way because the fight camps that we do are really brutal and you tear your body down a lot and I think there needs to be a culture change because there's no reason to tear your body down as much as we do to go into a fight that's at amateur level. Maybe maybe further down the road but just as an amateur like we're doing a lot to our bodies and I'm going into the fight a little beat up so mm -hmm. for the next fight I'm going to try to talk to my coach and see what we can do to slow it down a little bit because I've been training long enough that I know the skills, I've been there, I've, I've done everything that I needed to do, it's just getting in there and doing it, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What is, like, the training regimen schedule like? Like, is it like, wake up, because I've seen this, wake up at, like, 6 a.m., hit for, like, I don't know what it is, what it's called, punch, Spar. spar, yeah, for an hour, weight lifting for, like, another hour, and then, like, I don't know, weight Cardio. cutting, or, yeah, something like that. Um, so... That's I don't want I, you to give all your, your secrets <laughs> right, to right, you, right, you right, know right, what right, I mean? Right, but right. maybe just a little piece. Just a little, I'll give you my training like schedule. Okay. okay so, okay. Um, I don't wake up at 6 a.m. That's too early for me, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I work from like 3 to 10, so I get off at like 10, I get home, I shower, eat, I drink a protein shake, and then go to bed at like midnight, so I get up around 9. When I get up, I stretch, I like meditate, get my mind right, and then I start the day. Usually I'll either walk or I'll run or I'll ride a bike for a couple miles and then when I go in at three I clean for a little bit I'll coach classes at five until about seven and then from 7.30 to 8.30 is when I do my training my stand up punching and kicking and then from 8.30 to 9.30 is when I usually wrestle and we do our all of our like techniques and stuff so okay. I do that Monday through Thursday that's pretty much how my schedule goes um, Saturdays I'll get up in the morning I'll coach for a little bit and then I'll train and then Sundays is usually my day off. And Fridays I do like a kind of like active recovery day. I'll ride a bike or I'll run or I'll just kind of walk around and yeah, take give my body a rest from getting hit. So it's pretty Jeez, much man. That's too that's much crazy, for me, bro. <laughs> is it safe? Uh yeah. I mean. Yeah, I'm just a pitcher, bro. I go out and I throw, and then I'm like, okay, let's go eat some cheese cones or something. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a lot of pressure because you're like the main guy, you know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. So. Gotta gotta go out and try and throw a strike in front of thirty thousand people, whatever it is. <laughs> um, let's go ahead, and we are at our pause moment. Uh -uh. Let's go ahead and let's get our pong shot in. It's our it's our ten minute time limit. Here we go. We're gonna do a pong shot, and you're gonna want to see this one because the loser of today's pong shot is gonna get choked out <laughs> by an MMA fighter. Oh man. Jeez. Okay. All right, special guest, lead her off. You ready? Oh! Dang, bro. Tough. <laughs> Let's get it. Watch how it's done. Oof. <laughs> 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 Let's get it. Watch how it's done. Hey. There we go. Hey. <laughs> All right. I lost. I'm super nervous. He's going to choke me out. 
MMA fighter, go ahead, do your worst. And we're back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, it was fake, but it still kind of choked me a little bit. You know, he's got a tight grip, MMA fight. <laughs> oh, man. Now, you've, you've choked somebody out before, though, right? Uh, not unconscious. Like, I haven't put anybody out yet. I thought you... Uh, there was, there was a time when you choked out one of our Griffin Kane. I did! Yeah! I it was Griffin Kane awesome. or uh, Wikey. Not sure. Yeah, one of the two. And they I think it was Wikey. Yeah, yeah, I put him out. Yeah. <laughs> This guy, uh, one, of our, one of our friends, literally asked for it. He's like, choke me out. And this guy did it. Legitimately. How long did it take? Yeah, I was about to say. Was it like a, how long, how long did it take to put him out? I don't even remember. I don't even know how old we were. We were young. We were like, young, like 12, 12 or something. Oh, really? 12 for sure. It didn't take that long. Like, if you lock it up, it only takes a few seconds. Because mm -hmm. it cuts your circulation yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were young. It was, it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> Have you ever been chucked out before? Um, not put out, no. I've been choked out and I've tapped because yeah. I'm smarter than that. I don't want to yeah, go to sleep, like obviously. Yeah. Just yeah. slept. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got to ask the question. What is like kind of like your craziest story fighting? Craziest story fighting? Yeah. In terms of training or in terms of just... No, in terms of an actual like a fight, like sparring session, whatever. Just a time when you were like, wow, that was kind of nuts. Okay. I got, I got a good one. So, uh... It was actually whenever we were playing baseball together. And I remember this because it was a Saturday, and I think the next day or the day of, we had a baseball game at Prasco, Prasco Park. Oh. So, and we got whooped, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know my, my nickname, Prasco. Uh, I, I took the ball and I threw it from the outfield, and it went behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> I was 12, man. What do you want me to do, okay? It might that game. It, it probably was game. that game. My dad still calls me Prasco all the time. <laughs> Told me that this summer when I helped him coach a baseball team. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> anyway, so um, that morning I had a training session. It was a Saturday, just like I had this. I had one this morning. Mm -hmm. So I was sparring, like moving around, hitting. And this girl Quinn, she's a black sash now, and she was like three or four years older than me. I was twelve, I think, and she was like fifteen, sixteen. And I was moving around. I was like, all right, she's a girl. Like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. get the better of her. So I'm hitting her, and I'm hitting her. And all of a sudden, she throws a round kick up. A round kick is like where you come around. So, but it was like a different round kick. It wasn't just a normal round kick. She came straight up and then swung her foot all the way around. And I like turned because I, I didn't expect it to come up to my yeah. face. And I turned right into it and she kicked me right in the nose. And it hurt so oh bad. <laughs> so she did one of them like fake like round she, kicks? She did one of them right oh. to my nose. And I was like, all right, I need a break time. <laughs> I need to take a second because that hurt. But, and then afterwards I had a game when we played at Prasco, but that was probably the craziest uh, experience just because I was like a 12 year old kid just like hitting, like sparring, and I didn't realize how intense like fighting is, because yeah. I'm fighting a girl that's like about my size, but you would, nev you would never expect this girl to swing around, kick up, and kick you in the face and like throw you, like, throw you off balance. How old was she? She was 16, 15, 16. 15 or 60s in black sash like black belt you know? she is now I think she was like a purple or uh, oh, okay, brown okay. then but it still it did not feel very good bro yeah. I wouldn't last in there man no, I can see this nose right here I see that <laughs> this thing has been broken <laughs> multiple times not by a fist or a foot by a bull okay <laughs> nose oh. is brittle man <laughs> you ever knocked anyone out before oh I back in 2016 I had a fight and I I wouldn't say he went out cold, but it, they counted it as a TKO, which is a technical knockout. Um, we were spot, like we were we had a it was a kickboxing fight, so I'm hitting him, and I cut off to the side and I hit him with the right hand. And when I hit him, he kind of like his legs spread out and he like folded down, Ooh. and the ref stopped it. Um, I wouldn't say it was a clean knockout, but I've got a technical knockout, which is close. Oh, yeah. So what's it like? What's it like getting hit that hard? I kind of described like. Not like what you, I guess what you see, like, because I've been, you know, hit by, I guess, like a basketball in the head and like kind of black out for a second, it feels like. Right. What is like it like to endure like some kind of pain like that and like to just keep going? I feel like if I got hit, I'd just start crying or something <laughs> like that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not fun. Um, 
in training, like if I get hit and like get my bell rung, like I get dizzy or anything, I'll stop just because health is more important. Mm -hmm. But in a fight, honestly, you can't really feel it because your adrenaline's running and oh, I you just about that. you're just going so hard that you'll get hit and it, it might like you might feel it obviously, but it's not gonna hurt as much as you think it is because you're in the middle of a fight. Like he's hitting you, I'm hitting him. Dude, it's, just, it's different. Adrenaline is so weird. <clears throat> it is super weird. Yeah. I, it, adrenaline is probably like one of the coolest things that you know us people have. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you can you can run to a brick wall with a good amount of adrenaline. Seriously, you know what I mean? Yeah, seriously. Not feel punches. Like, must be nice, man. Oh, so I like, feel it afterwards for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Kicks yeah. You wake up the next morning like, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't even want to get out of bed, man. So you know how like UFC fighters will pre prepare for their fight against their opponent, like. We'll say like Nate Diaz, I think he's got great ground game, ground game, right? Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to get on the ground with him. Right. The dude you're fighting, do you know if he's got like good ground game? So he's like, he's like Nate Diaz. Game. He is a good yeah. ground game. Okay. So my goal for the fight is to keep it standing, work my shots, just touch him as much as I can, and then if he tries to hit, like shoot a takedown, I'll just defend it and keep it standing. Yeah. But if it goes to the ground, I'm confident on the ground as well. So okay. I think either way, I like my chances. Okay. Yeah. Where do you kind of like? wish to see MMA fighting and like because this is your supposedly your first pro fight right amateur just amateur okay amateur fight you had another fight before this right I had a lot Are of kickboxing it? fights yeah and I had a, a MMA fight that got canceled yeah I remember that we were gonna go to that it got canceled yeah what, what a soft guy what man softy right <laughs> soft. why did he cancel you know uh, so the day before which was way in day mm -hmm. I got a call from my coach and I'm like in the bathtub sweating like Draining yeah, all this, like, yeah. weight, and I'm, I'm, like, dying. This sucks. Yeah. So I get a call, and uh, my coach is like, hey, you can eat. You can, uh, They're moving up to 140, because at the time I was fighting at 135. So he's like, go eat. You can get up to one, 140. And I was like, all right, cool, I'll eat. Then he calls me back. He's like, all right, he can't make 140. Go up to, we're going to go to 145. So I'm like, like okay, dude, I'm like, sure. Like, so I started to eat some, eat some more. I started to feel a little bit better. started to rehydrate. And then he calls me again, he's like, the guy's got diarrhea. He can't fight. I'm like, oh, man. I did all that work, and then the day before, he says he can't fight. Just months of training for just a cancel. Rough. The day before. So you you were like close to 135, right? The day before, and he's yes. gonna try to get you up to 145 in a day. Yes. What were you eating that day, man? That's crazy. Um, you Ten pounds. Of <laughs> I wasn't trying to gain much okay. weight. I was kind of just like trying to rehydrate. I got yeah. back up to like 140. Okay. But he still ended up. You canceling. forget yeah. how much water weight actually like weighs. Yeah. Like you could gain five pounds of water weight in a day, could mm -hmm. you? For sure. Probably. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. What to say? Um, what is like? like where do you want to see your fighting career kind of like take you? Like, could you ever imagine yourself? I know it's kind of like wild to say or like cheesy, I guess, to say like, you know, that pro level. But could you do you want that one day? Could you see yourself possibly going for that? I can see that for sure. Mm -hmm. As if, uh, as in, do I want it? I'm not sure. Just because fighting is really brutal, obviously. My thing is I like coaching more than I like fighting. So I'm doing the fight for the experience just because how can you coach without having any fights, you know oh, what I mean? So yeah. I'm going to do the fight and see how it goes. If I like it and I feel like I can progress and get better from it, then um, I might like make a run at it, but I'm not sure yet. It just all depends how this one goes, and then we'll go from there. Anything professional is difficult to yeah, do. Yeah, for sure. Man. It's for sure. even like, I don't know, I've, you're a big video game guy. Video game playing, baseball, you got to be like top 300 in the world for sure, to yeah. go pro. You, people don't realize how much work it actually takes to put in, you know, to get to that point. Sure. And that's insane. Now, as far as, like, you training kids and stuff like that, what do you, what are, like, some of the main critiques and stuff that you have to give kids in order to get them better? Standing still. Really? Standing still. We, uh, we talk about strong eyes a lot. Not, like, crazy, like, eyes, but just, like, <laughs> using your eyes to yeah, yeah, some yeah. people, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and listening ears, just, like, little stuff like that, because at the end of the day, it's more than fighting, it's courage, it's discipline, it's respect, it's all these great things, and we just try to get the kids to stand frozen, like, don't move, like, because kids obviously want to run around and mm -hmm. be ridiculous, but yeah. we get them to stand frozen, and we still show them moves, but at the same time, we kind of just, like, make sure they're being good people, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like a lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, it's more than just fighting people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure.
So uh, I think I follow some of your Instagram pages. Like, do you do photos? Like, I photo do. photography, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I just awesome. got into that recently. Um, I got a new camera. So, mm -hmm. but with the fighting, like with the fight coming up, I've been kind of avoiding yeah. social media and not really getting on yeah, social media. Yeah, just focusing on. Exactly. Yeah. So. I've taken a little break, but I'll get back to it after the fight's over. Gotcha. How important is the mental game to, like, fighting? It's... And not just fighting, in life, I think yeah. the mental game is very, very important because if your mind isn't right, then your body's not going to be right. You're going to be you're gonna be off a little bit. So I think the mind is just like any other muscle. you got to train your mind. So I think mind's, like, way up there. And that's probably why you do, like, the meditation and stuff, exactly. right? Mm -hmm. Now, I know, like, this is probably, like, just show business and stuff like that, but, like, I guess um, you guys don't have, like, a press conference or anything for this fight, right? No, Nothing no press like conference. That. Do you guys have weigh-ins? We do, do have, have a face-off? Yeah, we do have a face-off. Okay, I don't know what that's like with, you know, the whole COVID thing right. or whatnot, but, like, what's something, or what kind of guy are you when you go up? for a face-off because I know like you see like Conor McGregor yells in the guy's face and then like some guys are stone cold like mm -hmm. what's your kind of like what kind of mental game do you play there if you um, even play one I really don't play a mental game just because like I was saying with the kids we teach them to be respectful and be be all this and that so I don't want to go up there and like try to like be somebody I'm not I'm just myself and I go up there and I'm, I'm super respectful and if he acts uh, like out of the ordinary I won't really react to him I'll just kind of be myself and just go from there dang bro I respect that yeah like that's called like winning through being humble exactly mm -hmm. and I, I like living my life like that that's like a really good way to do it for sure that's yeah. super dope that's you ever sweet. like meet someone like you know anyone that will do that like uh that acts ridiculous yeah. that way and um there's been a few people, that, mm -hmm. but they end up getting beat up. So it's <laughs> like, it's, yeah, so. that's, that's like <laughs> comedic justice man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> Talk to me about, like, you're in the locker room right before a fight. Mm -hmm. What is going through your head, and what are you, where are you, like, are your emotions at, and stuff like that? So, um, th for this fight, I'm sure I'll, I'll be a lot more calm, but in the past, I've been anxious. I've been, I've had butterflies, obviously. It's kind of like any other sport you play. Like, mm -hmm. before the game, you're always going to be amped up, and it's going to be weird for you. So, before the fight, um... It just all depends. It depends on if it's a jiu-jitsu uh, jiu tournament, those are a little less stressful. Um, kickboxing fights, those are a little more stressful. And then M MMA, I haven't done one yet, so we'll see how this one goes. But I feel like with the preparation I've done and just how long I've been training, I feel like my mind's going to be set. I'm just going to be ready to get in, get in there and beat this guy up. So. Yeah. You got like a pregame playlist? Uh, Not really. I kind of I have certain songs that I like. Yeah. I don't have a playlist, but there's songs that I listen to to kind of like... Give me focus. What's like your go to to get focus in there? That's a good question. It's like asking your favorite movie, man. It's very tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's very, very tough really question. I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. You know what mine like is? Yeah. Uh, Back in Black by ACDC. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. I pumped that in the car on my way to like my first pitching live oh, session. Yeah. <laughs> So like collapse. collapse by Eminem is a good one too. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Anything by Eminem, man. Yeah. He's just good. Good, yeah. you know. Artist. Sure. Hypes you up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, what is, I guess, what would you consider your best moment in fighting? Do you like, do you have something that comes to mind where you were like, I was just on this day and I felt amazing, everything was working for me? Probably in 2016 when I got that TKO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what was like, take me through the fight. Let, let's like, tell me experience that fight, what was going on. Okay, so uh, it was in Columbus at the uh, Arnold Classic. They do like a big weightlifting thing there, and um, uh, I can't remember it was. I was 16, so like I was kind of like at that stage where you're finding yourself. Like you're not a grown up yet, but you're kind of yeah. like becoming a grown up. And I was backstage, and or not back, obviously not backstage. I was back in the locker room hitting the mitts, and one of the guys came up to me and he was like, "Dang, like, are you 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 fighting this guard? Are you like you fighting?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, you look you look good. Who you fighting?" And it was the other guy's coach. So he kind of, like, was scouting me out before, and he was like, dang, this kid looks good. Yeah. And uh, that was just, like, a really good boost to my confidence. And then going out there, I felt good just, just from him saying something. And then uh, the first round, it only lasted a round. And it's on YouTube, so you can see it. I'll send you the link. Okay, and, yeah, um, for sure. First round, he came out with a sidekick, which is, like, a 
kick to kind of keep your distance, and he hit me in my ribs, and I was like, okay, because he like he was more of a Taekwondo black belt, and I'm more of a Muay Thai. They're two different styles. Taekwondo is a lot more kicks, and Muay Thai is punches and knees. So I got inside and ended up landing a few shots, and you could tell that he didn't enjoy getting hit. So I kept landing my shots, I kept landing my shots, and then eventually I kind of just like cut off to the side, like I said, and then pick one shot and just put him down. So that was like a really good experience because. I was 16 and I was like, like I said, finding myself and I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was playing baseball at the time and I didn't know if baseball was it or fighting was it or basketball or football. So after that, it kind of, kind of like shot me off in another direction. And that's when I took this path of fighting and now yeah. we're here. Of course, that coach totally screwed his, you know, his guy. For yeah. sure. You don't For come sure. over to your opponent and be like, wow, this guy's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You're just giving all the confidence in the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he probably went over to the uh, to his his guy and he was like, "Yeah, you're probably in trouble. <laughs> you're probably gonna lose this man. guy. You know, he's hitting hard, but you know what? You're not, you're not too bad either. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. You, have you had the same coach your whole life? Yep. Same yeah. coach. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's awesome. Yes, sir. Jeff Robinson. Yeah, I was about to say, who is your uh, coach, Jeff Robinson? Robinson? Yep. How long has he been fighting for? Um, he's been. I don't think he did any. He hasn't done any MMA fights, but he's been training for 20, 30 years. It's been a really long time. Cause he started back when he was really young. He's 37 now, and he started when he was like eight or nine. So mm -hmm. about 30 years, which is yeah. crazy. I remember you talking about like Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Is there like first off, kind of like explain to everybody and I guess to me because I have no idea what kind of the difference between like some of those fighting styles is mm -hmm. and then like I guess is there any fighting style that's particularly better than any other one? Um, it's hard to say if any of them are better because they all have their their pros and cons. Uh, Muay Thai which is kick, uh, pretty much kickboxing but we add elbows and knees it comes from Thailand and then Jiu Jitsu is wrestling with submissions so you can take down you've got arm bars, you've got arm locks, you've got chokes which I showed on Murph. I yes, choked, did. choked, choked mm -hmm. him out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai are my two like main ones I do. There's also Filipino martial arts, which is stick fighting. There's Taekwondo, like I said. There's karate. There's, there's, the list goes on and on. Boxing, wrestling. Now, what's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? It's just Jiu Jitsu. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. I just from Brazil. shorten it up. It's okay. from Brazil, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. So, do you like the wrestling aspect of it? Because remember you um, said your first like training session you had like you did the hour and you said you have another hour of wrestling. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Yeah, I was uh I was kind of timid at first just because I like to stand up way more. I like punching and kicking, obviously. So, mm -hmm. uh, but then I got into the wrestling and was like, well, this, this goes deeper than I thought because there's there's still moves that I don't know and there's still mm -hmm. moves I'm gonna end up learning. So yeah. it's super cool. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. awesome. Dang man, I, I I can't even like ex I can't even think about like what that would be like fighting. Yeah. You know, the most fights I've ever been in was, I guess, in a basketball game where this, this kid won't... It was from, uh, you know, Elder. Which oh, Elder, God. you know, we were O'Kills people. Elder was like a rival school or whatnot. I don't know, the kid just pushed me and that was pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got in between and were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I didn't even really do anything that much. Yeah, it was a pushing battle. Yeah, Dang. pretty much. Yeah, it was a bunch of talk and a bunch of pushing, and that was pretty much it at the end of the day. Gotcha. So Have you been in an actual fight before? I'm like trying to think if I have. If obviously, if I'm thinking about it, no. No. Yeah. I mean, I guess I've boxed, friendly boxed mm -hmm. with you know a couple of our buddies before. Right. Yeah. I actually have a funny story about that. I was boxing one of our one of our friends, your Logan Meyer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know Logan, yeah, right? Of course. <laughs> Goofy guy. Oh, I'm Love him though. <laughs> um, he's not really the most intimidating guy, yeah. and he was nobody was like wanting to fight or box or spar whatever it's, it is. And he came over and was basically like, you know what? I'll do it. Let's go. I'm like, okay. So I put on the gloves <laughs> and uh, we're just going at it real light. You know, I pop him a couple of times. And he's doing this two punch thing, which is as athletic as I just made it look. But I was in my wide stance with my crotch exposed, and he went with his leg up and nailed me right oh, in the scrotum. 
right in his throat. <laughs> and I'll never forget the pain I was in. I was sitting there for like 10 minutes just... Ugh. His leg just swung up. Just <laughs> and of course, to this day, he's like, yeah, I totally won the fight, man. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. So he got the win on that one? Yeah. I, I guess technically, yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't think anybody won in the end, you know. We were both sweating, and I, I was hurting from lower half down. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> so the next time uh, Logan comes over, I'd recommend wearing a cup. Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> so that way you can get the dub this yeah, time. Yeah, no kidding. Seriously. <laughs> Bender, have you been in a no, I haven't. I mean, I box like like same idea. Before. Yeah, but gotcha. yeah, I've never been in a real fight. We're lovers, not fighters. Same. Same. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fight. He's a lover too. He just yeah. He also kicks people's it, butts. Exactly. You know? yeah. 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 Is anyone allowed at this fight or just family because of the COVID stuff? Is anyone um, allowed to come watch? Like, yeah, we do uh, one spectator per person, so okay. they can come in. They can uh, train. All the adults train. Mm -hmm. We recommend not wearing a mask because doing high yeah. exercise and high intensity stuff. It's, Hard to breathe with, with the yeah. mask on, but other than that, we keep the facility super clean. Like we do our best to keep everything clean. And um, for kids, we do like one spectator. And most of the kids that are eight to twelve year olds, the parents just drop them off, and the kids train, and then they get out of there. So, okay, it's pretty much. Same now, old. where is this fight coming up? It's in Bowling Green. Kentucky. Bowling Green, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, that's October eighth or seventeenth. Seventeenth. Yeah. I'm thinking of some other date I have to do. So October seventeenth, Bowling Green. Mm -hmm. Can people view this like online, or is it streamed anywhere, or will it be streamed anywhere, anything yep. like that? So they did a uh, two hundred tickets, and they sold out. So they sold out the tickets that are for the event, but they're doing a pay per view. So oh okay, where is that going to be at? Do you know? Excuse me, I'm not sure yet. Uh, when I get the link, I'll be sure to yeah put it out there. So yeah yeah, be sure to send that to us, and we'll put it out in the channel. Cool beans. Yeah. Well, guys, I, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, Willie B, baby. Will <laughs> Baker, MMA fighter. Uh, check him out August 17th. We're going to post you know, a link in our description of the fight. And obviously go follow him on Instagram. Uh, what's your tag? It's Willie, it's it's Willie William B, right? William Fortunato Baker. Fortunato. Full, full name. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, yeah, go follow him. Obviously, uh, we we were so happy to have you on, man. Yeah. Appreciate really cool. it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thank you for tuning in this week. We will love you to death. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>